Hi guys, it's WeFan360 here, and yes, I am back for another reaction video. So today, this is gonna be different. This is a whole different reaction video. I like doing different things on my channel, so I'm like, why not? Today, I'll be reacting to Sonic Generations fan dub from this YouTuber called Nized, I believe. N I Z E D, I believe. Nized. It's either Nized or Nized. I'm so sorry for pronouncing that wrong. I believe it's Nized. So. I am so sorry for pronouncing that right or wrong. I am so sorry, forgive me. Um, but he does a bunch of Sonic content. He does Sonic fan doves. He also does a bunch of Sonic content. I've only saw a few videos of his. I saw the previous two fan doves that he did, which was Sonic Colors and Sonic Unleashed. So I saw those fan doves before I saw this one. So yeah, so I've already I saw the past two fan doves he did. I saw a bunch of other Sonic content he does. He's a pretty cool he's a pretty cool guy. He's a pretty cool dude. Um, pretty good, cool YouTuber, so I actually really love his content, honestly. So, I'll be reacting to Sonic Generations fan dub. So, today, the day I'm filming this, hopefully I'll get this filmed on midnight before November 2nd, because November 1st is actually the day that Sonic Generations became a game, was released, and all that stuff. So, this is Sonic Generations' 9-year anniversary becoming a game. And to me, personally, I feel like Sonic Generations is the best modern game to date. Um, I just feel like I love the characters, and I love the story, I love the levels that they give us in this as well. Um, it's like a mix of mod of the modern era and the classic era in one. That is just phenomenal to me. I just really love this game. I love the cutscenes it has. Um, so overall, I feel like this is a really cool game, and probably the best game to this day. Um, it's just Sonic Team Racing was a decent racing game, and Sonic Forces was decent as well. Just not as good as Sonic Generations. Um, I just feel like it's better um, to me personally. And hopefully next year, hopefully the uh, Sega will give us a good game. Um, a good game with a good story. And hopefully the, pre the future games will be a lot better and great with good story and characters and texture. Hopefully back to, you know, uh, characters that doesn't get much spotlight like Shadow and Silver and stuff like that. Hopefully Sega will give us that next year. Um, hopefully. But uh, anyways, back on this. Um, so... Uh, recent, uh, previously, actually, my goal was to actually react to this on the time it was premiered, uh, which was around noon, around noon where I was from in Minnesota. So it was released like at noon, and my goal was to actually react to it while it was premiering. I wasn't able to do that because I was not in my quote-unquote office at the time. So I was, I was not here, I was not at home, so I went somewhere for the weekend, and I wasn't able to react to it at the time. So I'm here now. Uh, literally, I got back like 15 to 20 minutes ago while before I filmed this so I am back um, I just want to hurry up and get this done because I feel so bad not watching the premiere I'm not even gonna lie um, but it's better doing it now than never um so yeah so this is Sonic Generations fan dub and I know what you was thinking I thought you react to only Winnie Daffy Duck in the Blue Wish 74 videos well what if I told you that Winnie and Daffy Duck in the Blue Wish 74 is featured in this video Yes, they are featured in there. I'm so excited to hear the voices. Um, I look, I read the description before you know recording this, and I've I saw that Wayne Duffy Duck voices Dr. Eggman and actually Robotnik VA, which I'm guessing that's classic Eggman. Um, so I am very excited for that. And the Blue Watch 74, I I'm I'm guessing that this is a, uh this is his first time, uh doing a fan dub in Nice's channel because the past two fan dubs that Nice has did, which was Sonic Unleashed and Sonic Colors, um, he was not featured in that. Um, and Win Daffy Duck on the other hand did. So this is probably his first time. Um, and he does play Silver VA in this. So I am very excited because I know Eggman is Win Daffy Duck's favorite character. Uh, that's what he told me. And then Silver is actually Gabriel's favorite, uh, favorite, uh, Sonic character. Um, so... I'm very excited that they get to play their own favorite characters. I'm really excited for that. Uh, Wayne Duffy Duck played Eggman since the very first fan dub that uh, Nice has, you know, created. So I am very, very, very excited for this. I've heard uh, uh, Wayne Duffy Duck's Eggman impression before. Uh, he does a really good job on it. I'm not even going to lie. It's pretty accurate, pretty darn accurate. So, yeah. So if you see Eggman and Silver in this, that is them. That is them voicing their characters. So... Yeah, I also have my favorite character, even though, even though uh, my favorite character isn't in this fan dub, I still have him, right here, Shadow. Hey, what's up? Yeah, I have uh, Shadow with me, because I want to show my favorite character right here, this this beautiful hedgehog, right here, right here. Even though he's not in the fan dub, I'm still going to keep him right here, right here, just right here next to me. Right, Shadow? Yeah. 
Anyways, yeah, so without further ado, I think I talked long enough. Uh, so this is almost 28 minutes long. Um, this is all the cutscenes that they voiced over. Um, I am very excited for this. I am very, very, very excited. And nervous at the same time. I don't know why I'm nervous, but um, I I'm nervous. Oh, oh, before I uh, get into this, all credits goes to Nyze and the crew behind this. I had nothing to do with this. I, I hopefully, because I want to say this before, because I'm very darn nervous, you know, reacting to someone else's channel. That is not William Daffy Duck in the Blue Book 74. So I just want to give all credits to Nyes, the director, and the cast, and the crew uh, that did all this. Um, all credits go to you. I have nothing to do with this. i just here to show my support, show everything like that. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. In 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, let's go. Nyes. All right. Hopefully I'm saying that right. I God, I hopefully I did. All right, all right. Have Shadow right here next to me. Ooh, I'm so excited! Oh, I love that. There's Sonic roaming around at speed of sound. Yay! Man, guys, I am so excited. Hey, it's classic Sonic. Hey. Sonic. Oh, I'm so excited. I love the intro already. The intro is sick. I love that. And we're back. Sorry about that. As soon as it got introduced. Oh my god. That was... Ugh. Uh oh. Oh god. Back in time. Back in the present. That is a real good. That is a real good Tails impression. I'm I'm impressed. Hey, everyone's having a good time. Everyone's chill. The Chaotix, Blaze, Cream, Cheese, Tails, of course. Amy. Amy's going at Sonic already. <laughs> oh, Chili Dog, of course. He, he's eating it already. He's chowing it down. This is already so good. Oh, there goes his chili dog. Oh, poor Sonic. He just got that. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, there they all go. Oh no, they're all being separated. Mm, mm. Oh, t tails! Oh no! Oh, hold on. I want to pause this real quick before we move on to the next one. Um, may I remind you guys that it's been so long since I saw Sonic Generations. I will believe. Um, I haven't played it in so long, so some of the cutscenes I won't hardly remember. I won't hardly remember it. Honestly, I will say. So this will be a blind reaction, kind of. I mean, I will hear mostly of the voice and not the story itself. I like to hear the voices, how accurate their voices are um, in a fandom. But I haven't seen, like, some of the cutscenes I probably won't remember. Some of them I do remember, but some of them I do not. Um, so if I'm a little confused and stuff like that, I'm sorry. I just haven't seen Sonic Generations in so long. So I apologize. Anyways, let's move on. I still have Shadow next to me right here. Oh, uh, Sonic's still knocked out. The Sonic voice is actually good. I actually like the Sonic voice. 
Oh, everything is like basically statued like. There we go, Tails. Tails is free. That Tails voice is actually really good. Really accurate. Yeah. It's like statued like. Huh. Oh, there's classic Sonic. <laughs> Uh, that's not him, really. I don't know. Hmm. Oh, Amy's free. There we go. Amy voice is good. I love the Amy voice. And there's Knuckles. He's free too. <laughs> Knuckles, I swear. Who doesn't like the knucklehead? Oh boy. So quiet, it's too quiet. Oh. Classic Sonic. Yes! Still good! It's still great! So accurate! Oh, wow. Okay. Wow, apparently Classic Sonic's probably a little bit faster. Oh, the Death Egg. Oh, God. Mmm, Death Egg Robot! Ooh! I don't think that he- I don't- I don't think he's gonna save you. Oh, poor Eggman. <laughs> that was good. That was good. I, I really like that. Mmm. Yeah. Both tails figured it out. Um, yeah. 
Oh boy. Disappeared out of nowhere. Alright. Ah, cream and cheese are free. Let's go. Aw, cream is so adorable. Some people are annoyed with cream, but I find her adorable. And there's Rouge. Oh, <laughs> Rouge is free. Good. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh oh. Mm. Yeah. Mm mm. Do something quick. Oh, it's Espio! There he is. Espio the chameleon. <laughs> Espio! Oh, of course. A ninja. Who is that? Oh my god! Oh, perfect chaos. Oh, God, here we go. Oh, God, that's creepy. Giant lizard. Basically. Wow. Oh, everything's going back to normal so far. Still quiet, though. Both Sonics did the work. Honestly, if I saw myself, I wouldn't get used to that either. Or if, if I see two double of the same people, I would never get used to that either. I'm, I'm not even going to blame that. Mm -mm. All right, let's get it. Exactly. All right. <laughs> exactly. Oh, double the fun. Oh, Blaze. She's back. Oh my god, Blaze. Wow. She is so cool. I'm not even gonna lie. That was, that's a great Blaze impression. I'm not even gonna lie. And there's Vector. Vector's released. <laughs> wow i love that vector impression that vector impression is good i'm not even gonna lie that's probably the best one i've heard yet i'm not i'm not even gonna lie of course that and the tails impression tails is probably accurate too really accurate actually oh boy
Okay, no trouble, no harm done. Okay. All right. All right, there's Charmy. <laughs> yes, you are, Charmy. Free, freebie. <laughs> I saw it, I was like, what the heck? What is it? What is Jeremy talking about? <laughs> oh my god. Is that oh Big Man, oh boy. Him and his big machines. <laughs> Eggman Dragon, let's get it. All right. Oh. Eggman can ever get his plans right. I swear, I feel bad for him. I love the Eggman impression. Of course, I've heard it before in his uh in his channel now cuz he voices him now in his own channel and the Blue Bush 94, of course. But, God, seeing it in actually a cutscene of a video game just makes it more accurate and better. I don't know. It's so good. Hmm. Sonic's too cocky. He's like, bring it. Ooh, hoo, hoo. He never gets tired. Oh, God. Classic Eggman, too. I love when he changes the voices between classic and modern. I can tell the difference. That's crazy. Wow. Oh, 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 wow. He wants to take it over, basically. <laughs> Him and his, <laughs> his laugh. <laughs> Even classic Eggman's like thinking. Yeah, you got that crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> He's too cocky. He he never gets old. All right. <laughs> oh. oh, this is so good. I can't get over how good these voices are. Oh my goodness. My God, this is good. Oh, oh, they crushed them. I thought they would move out of the way. Oh, yes. Oh, Shadow is a 
in this. Hold up. Hi, Shadow. Oh, my God. Shadow is in this. Oh, my God. Oh, there. Oh, there's Blue Blue Wear 74. He wasn't in here much, but I, I love his silver impression, too. Oh, they're going to turn super, are they? Oh, they're gonna turn super! Oh my god. I did not know Shadow was in this. I, I just said Shadow was probably not in this, but he was in here for a little bit. I'm happy now. I really am. The eat- the t oh, the time eater. Okay. And he got his chili dog back. <laughs> He's not gonna finish that chili dog after that whole adventure. Oh. Oh, uh, everyone's back. Yay. <laughs> Look at Shadow just chilling in the background. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, poor Knuckles. Of course, Eggman's plan got foiled. Oh, I feel bad. <laughs> I feel bad for Eggman sometimes. Oh. Everyone's just having a good time. Yeah. Oh, and he's gonna leave. Oh. <laughs> oh, poor, poor classic. Yeah. He'll get better. When he grows up, of course. Aw, uh, yeah. Two Sonics the better. Aw, yes. Aw. Oh. Oh, I love it! It's so good! Oh, there's Eggman. Oh my god. <laughs> They're both... <laughs> oh, Eggman and Eggman, oh my god. That would be a funny conversation, though. Class, classic Eggman to mod Eggman. Oh my god. Ugh. Well, it's yourself, so technically it's both of your faults. I love this conversation here. You better. Of course, of course, Eggman. Oh my god. Oh. Wow. Okay. There we go, escaping the city. There we go. Oh yeah. Mm. Roaming around at the speed of sound. Got places to go, gotta follow my rainbow. Hey. Oh my god, that was so good. I wanna let the credits roll. I want the credits roll so that I can give credit for everyone. Nice did a great job directing. Oh Rock rock sized? I am so sorry for pronouncing that wrong. But oh my god. This was so good. Winning Daffy Duck, you did a great job! Oh, I loved your Eggman voice. I still do. It's really good. It's really good. Follow me. Set me free. Hey! Everyone did so good. Credits to everyone. 
Oh my god, this is so good. Follow me. This is so good. The Blue Boy 74 did a great job with Silver, even though he wasn't in here much. It was still good. It was really good. I Just by the hear of it, just for that few seconds, it was still good. It was really accurate. Oh, wow. Nice did everything. Oh, my God. Props to Nice, man. Oh, my God. I set you free. Follow me. Set me free. The city. Thanks for watching. Of course. Oh my god. Yay. That was so good. I'm not even gonna lie. Just by watching cutscenes. Oh. It's Amy again. Wh what? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It's Knuckles again, okay. I want to finish the whole thing, guys. I don't care. I'm going to finish the whole thing. Thanks, Sonic. You did a good job back there. Hey, did you gain weight? Wow. Oh, <laughs> poor classic. Oh, is this probably just some extra cutscenes? I think. Oh, wow. <laughs> they're just... I don't know why they're exposing Classic. <laughs> this is hilarious, actually. I'm not even gonna lie. Wow. Guys, can't you tell that's his Classic version? <laughs> <laughs> Take a hint to why the clues you guys are giving. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, SBO, whatever you say. Oh, there's Blaze again. <laughs> Blaze is more independent. That's why she just doesn't want help much. Alright, there's Vector again. Thanks, Sonic. You know, I gotta hug someone or something so they don't knock my head off. Alright. Oh, of course. What made you think that, <laughs> Charmy? Oh. I like your Sonic mask, dude! Alright, till next time. Okay! So there might be a possibility for our next time. Yay! Yay! Oh, that was so good. I love those extras, uh, those extra credit scenes. I mean, not credit scenes, um, cutscenes. <laughs> cutscenes. Um, those were hilarious to me. <laughs> they just been exposing classic for some reason. That was hilarious. Um, but anyways, this is the end of the reaction video, guys. Everyone did a phenomenal job. Wayne Duffy Duck and Blue Witch 74 did great with their characters. Um, Wayne Duffy Duck's character went more towards the end of the film. That's when I can really hear his voice more. I, just by that, just by actually seeing the character the character he likes move around like stuff like in this plush videos of course it's a plush toy so i don't really you know of course his voice is behind the plush character and so that it just you know with since the mouse doesn't move or anything it's kind of hard to you know i don't know how to explain it it's just when i see the game like see an actual cutscene with wing up duck actually voicing over it it actually makes it real like more realistic to me if that makes sense like it makes it more realistic um and it just makes it more 
convincing. It makes it more convincing, and I really enjoyed that so much. So accurate. I love when he voices over his class, the classic Eggman and the modern Eggman. It's so good. Um, I, I just feel like his voice acting is getting better and better every time. Uh, in the Volver 74, even though his character wasn't, I mean, he literally probably had like one line and that was it. But even though, like, I can hear his silver voice and that is pretty darn accurate as well. Um, his voice was phenomenal as well. Just by that alone, just by that sentence, his silver impression was really spot on. Really good. On Twitter, I know that Wayne Duffy Duck and the Blue Wars 74 did do uh, on, you know, the Blue Wars 74's Twitter, um, you know, Twitter account that they made a little short clip of them doing Sonic impressions. I did hear the Sonic, um, not Sonic, a silver impression on there. That was accurate. So seeing, like I said before, when I see Silver's mouth actually move and stuff like that, it makes it more convincing. It makes it more realistic to me. And it's just so good. And it's so phenomenal well done it's just so great um props props to everyone especially nice for editing it all that stuff um having everyone come together voice their characters it's great it was awesome i wonder i know they're probably gonna do another fan dub in the future um to me personally i can definitely i can definitely picture sonic forces being next because that one is actually the next probably modern modern like game that that is left like they did sonic colors with the same you know animation sonic unleash um they just did sonic generations so i feel like sonic forces i could definitely picture them doing next they have different characters like zavok and metal and chaos and infinite like it has more characters and you know i just i can definitely picture sonic forces being next i can definitely picture that um honestly it could be that or it could be classic games as well like even though they have don't have a I mean, they have a story, of course, but I, I, I don't know. They did, never did the classic games yet. They didn't do Sonic Adventures yet. Sonic Adventures 2, um, they haven't done those yet. But if they do do a classic game, I'll be all up for that. Like, of course, I would love to see classic games like Sonic Adventures, Sonic Adventures 2. If they want to do Sonic 06, go right ahead. I mean, I would watch a Sonic 06 fan dub any day. Like, I would see that any day. Um, but I can definitely, for now, I can definitely picture Sonic Forces being next. Um but and they have a lot more characters to actually cast um as well so yeah um so press to everyone um you know i've only saw a couple of people in here that i know of course i know wayne duffy duck and the blue 74 they're like friends to me um and i I've, I've actually saw a channel channel pup I, I hopefully i'm saying that right uh uh in on twitter it's channel underscore pup i think um i saw a few of his videos too and of course i saw a few videos of nice's channel as well that's the only YouTubers I know, but other than that, everyone else did a phenomenal job. Even though I'd never seen their channels, I actually can tell that they do really good Sonic impressions. So I'm really ex um, really hyped for the next uh, fan dub. Yeah, so, I mean, guys, I will be honest. Um, like, if I was a guy, right? It'll, if I was a male, <laughs> I will be honest. I would audition <laughs> for Shadow in a heartbeat. I, I wouldn't even lie. Like... I, I mean, I can't clearly because, you know, first of all, I just saw someone who voiced it, Shadow in this, who just voiced it, Shadow for a couple of scenes, and that was it. Probably, like, only one scene that he voiced uh, Shadow in. But, I, I mean, I would, honestly, I would voice Shadow in a heartbeat if I was a male because Shadow's, like, my favorite character. Like, Wayne Duffy Duck gets to voice his favorite character. The Blue Witch 74 gets to voice his character for only one line. Like, I want a chance to voice my favorite character, but I can't because clearly... I'm female and it won't be that convincing if I did shadow impressions so yeah I mean my shadow impression is pretty good the problem is, is that I'm female like I said so I won't really work but you know it's it's fine it's cool but I'm glad that shadows in here I completely forgot shadow was in like what one or two scenes so I completely forgot about that um, and um, also other characters that you know just appeared in one scene like silver for example that blue blur 74 uh, voiceover all that stuff so yeah but it, like it's it's a new decade like does gender really matter anymore like does gender really matter like does it besides people confuse like people like my fans over the past you know years that i've done you know youtube and such people confuse me with the guy before like people confuse my voice over a guy before in my channel so it <laughs> i mean if i did voice um shadow in a fan dub then 
I'm pretty sure some people will be pretty convinced at it because people confused me with a guy before. So I, I don't know. It's just, just I'm just saying, if I did do a Sonic fan dub, I would audition for Shadow in a heartbeat. And it's, sometimes it sucks being a woman because, like, it's just, it's just, it's, I, I don't know. It sucks being a woman because I'm just so into male characters mostly. And the reason why I'm into male characters uh, a lot is because I've always found female characters to be, no offense to a lot of female characters for TV shows and movies and video games even, I've always found them quite boring, just to me personally, because, you know, either a woman's the damsel in distress, um, or just a love interest to a main male character, like, it's just, to me, I found that's, like, boring, that's why I've always been into male characters, mostly, like, Sonic, Shadow, Silver, other male characters in the Sonic franchise, not only Sonic, but also Mario, and other TV shows, and cartoons and movies as well so i i don't know it's just that's me personally um that's why i use mostly my male characters for my channel but other than that i've always found female characters to be slightly boring i'm not even gonna lie i i've always loved female who aren't a damsel in distress and isn't a love interest to a male character so yeah that's that's just me personally that's just to me if you guys like female uh characters more than male characters that's you but I've always been into male characters the most. That's why I've always used Shadow, Sonic, Silver, all that stuff. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, so overall, I'm going to be done talking here. I've, you know, said my thoughts and everything. I said what I wanted to say. But good job on everyone who did this. I'm so glad I saw Shadow. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. I forgot Shadow was in, like, one, two scenes. So I'm so glad I saw him. Um, he was so good. Um, the pe the person who voiced Shadow did a great job with the Shadow impression, first of all. Uh, first of all, everyone did a good job with their voice impressions. Everyone was very convincing to me, and I can definitely tell. My favorite was definitely, um, Vector, Tails, um, Eggman for sure. I really do love Daniel's, uh, Eggman impression. That one's really good. I will also include the Blue Sunday Forest character, Silver, as well. I feel like just by that one line, it's very convincing and very accurate. Um, I've always loved the Silver impression. Just by that one line, it was pretty convincing. Um, so I do love the Silver impression as well. So, yeah, those are probably my only favorites. Everyone else was good. Don't get me wrong. Everyone was good. Amy, Cream, everyone. I mean, I feel like Nines did a great job recruiting people who actually does a really good, accurate voice impression to a Sonic character. I really do appreciate that. Um, yeah, so the Nines, you know, the Nines impression to Sonic was actually pretty good as well. Um, a lot deeper than the Sonic we currently see to this day. Um, but it's still really accurate. It's still really accurate. It's just a little bit deeper. But that's fine because it's just an impression, so it doesn't really bother to me that much. But uh, other than that, everyone's impression was spot on. It was spot on. I really enjoyed it. So, yeah. So, uh, Shadow, you want you want anything to say? Oh, I just want to say, uh, you go to Sonic Forces next as the next fan dub. Go to Sonic Forces. I'm in there. I have a lot more lines. Just give me or Shadow the Hedgehog. Do Shadow the Hedgehog, and then. We'll talk later, okay? Uh, just you do do Son uh, Shadow the Hedgehog, or Sonic Adventures Two, or Sonic Forces. Got it? Good. I'm out of here. Okay, so Shadow's gone. Anyways, guys, other than that, this was a really good fan dub. I really enjoyed it. I will definitely react to more of fan dubs from Nines in the future because I know if uh, William Daffy Duck will do more of Eggman if Nines ever do a fan dub next, and I can definitely picture the Blue Wolf Seventy Four coming back and voicing either Silver or another character again. So, yeah, so I'm very excited for the next one. Um, th they did say it next time, so I'm guessing they might do another fan dub in the future. Who knows? But uh, this is a 10 out of 10 on me. Wayne Duffy Duffy and Blue for Time 4, you did a great job with the characters. I would love to see you guys be recruited from Nines once again and voice your guys' as characters again. You guys did a great job. It was a 10 out of 10 for me and 10 out of 10 to Nines. I give all props to Nines especially because he did everything uh, with all the lines and the editing and the music, it's just, it was so good. Um, he did a phenomenal job. Anyways, guys, without further ado, next video will definitely be the Wayne Duffy Duck uh, reaction video. So, anyways, this is WeFan360 signing off. Goodbye, and I'll see you guys later. Take care.